Now they have a mantle, that's the outer skin that lines the shell, and it secretes the shell. Um, they have a complete digestive tract that starts from the mouth and it goes to the anus. And then, of course, as I said, most of them have the radula, um, but it's very diverse. You know, some of them, it's more harpoon-like. Some of them, like in the cephalopods, it's that chitinous beak. And then others, it's they use it just to scrape food off, algae off rocks and things that they eat. Their digestive tract is ciliated, and they have a mouth, an anus, and a complex stomach. Um, they take in their food um, by the cells lining the digestive glands that come from the stomach, and then it's passed into the blood. Um, the undigested materials are compressed and packaged, and then discharged through the anus into the mantle cavity, and then they're carried away in water currents and this keeps the water from being soiled or fouled by the solid or by the waste because it's a solid form most of them have gills or gills that absorb oxygen from the water they also can respire through their body surface the gills or through their mantle cavity surface and they have a dorsal part um, that will supply the hemocell with oxygen. Except for cephalopods, it's an open circulatory system, so they're going to have a blood-filled cavity, a hemocell. Um, in mollusk, that hemocell is replaced with the coelom, but it's a small area around the heart and the organs of reproduction and excretion. Uh, the cephalopods have to have a lot of oxygen in food because they're so big, like a giant um, squid, can be up to 18 meters long. So they're gonna have to have a lot of oxygen in food. They have a pretty complex nervous system. It varies from species to species, and of course the octopus is the most intelligent. They compare the mental ability of the octopus to a domestic cat. Uh, some of them have a lot of sensory ability, and they have a variety of organ systems and large complex eyes. The eyes in that giant squid can be the size of dinner plates, and um, they believe they have this specialized polarized vision so that they can see prey in the water better. And obviously he saw that shark. They have pedal and visceral nerve cords that join to form the brain or the anterior cerebral ganglion. They have sense organs for balance, statuses, they have tentacles, they have eyes, and osphoradia for water pressure and flow. And the bivalves have sensory cells to discriminate touch and chemical changes in light. And this scallop that you're looking at has pretty complex eyes. They can have a hundred or more eyes that are among the tentacles on the fringe of the mantle. You see that there, the blue ones. They can't focus, but they do detect light and dark and any shadows from other organisms that happen by. There is no endocrine or exocrine system. And as far as excretion, they have a perinephridia that collect fluids and exchange salts with other body tissues as it passes along the tubules for excretion, and they empty into the mantle cavity. The kidneys or metanephridia drain the coelom no immune system.